Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, we're gonna take a look at arithmetic sequences. And we're gonna determine how to find the zero term in any arithmetic sequence you have. Now, the zero term is basically what it sounds like when we're talking about sequences. When I'm looking at these two sequences from the previous video, hopefully we can recognize that in this left sequence, the two is the first term, the five is the second term, the eight was our third term, and the 11 here was our fourth term. Same thing that happened on the right sequence here. We saw that 10 here was the first term, that six was the second term, that two was the third term, and the negative two was the fourth term. Now, I told you this video is all about finding that zero term. The zero term is just the term that goes right before the first term. So really what we're trying to focus in here is that we don't see the zero term because our sequence here are starting with that first term. So what we really are caring about here is we're caring about this unknown term that goes right in front of both sequences and we refer to that as our zero term. It's sort of our starting place for our sequence, but it's kind of a, an invisible starting place, right? Because we're not seeing it clearly when we write out the sequence to begin with, because we always show our first term, but sometimes we have to figure out that zero term, that term right before the one we're starting with. Now it's very easy to find, very easy to find. The only thing you need to use to find it is to know the common difference. That's why we introduce common difference first. In the last video, I went over how to find the common difference because that's gonna help enable us to determine what that zero term is. And here's how you find it. To find any zero term in a given arithmetic sequence, you just have to start off with your first term. I see here on the left that my first term here is a two. You take your first term, and instead of adding the common difference, right? I don't wanna add three, because if I'm adding that three, then I'm moving in the forward direction of my sequence, and I'll just end up with five. So instead of adding my common difference here, instead, I want to subtract that common difference. If I do that, two minus three, that ends up equaling negative one, that negative one here, that is the zero term. That is that hidden term there, the term right before the first term. And the easy way of finding it is just taking that first term and subtracting your common difference. Because if this was where we start with negative one, we see that by adding three, we'll still get our first term of two. Okay, it's still gonna have that same common difference. Now for the sequence on the right, we're gonna follow that same exact path, okay? I'm gonna start off with my first term here. My first term is a 10. I'm going to subtract my common difference. Now, the difference here with this sequence is that our common difference was negative four. So I do have to make sure that I'm writing minus negative four four there. I don't just want to write a four because it won't end up being the correct answer, right? Our common difference was negative. Remember, this sequence was decreasing. So that means this number here in front of 10 should be larger than 10. And when I end up simplifying this 10 minus negative four, well, 10 minus negative four is the same thing as just adding four. And 10 plus four gives us 14. So now I know for that second sequence to the right that my zero term there is 14. And again, that should make sense, right? The equation on my right here, the sequence, sorry, the sequence on my right was decreasing. So the numbers did get smaller as it went on. So my zero term there should be bigger than 10. Now on the sequence on the right, I started with two, but that sequence was increasing, right? The numbers were getting bigger. 
So my zero term should be less than two there. And that's it. That's how you find the zero term. It's as simple as taking your first term and subtracting your common difference. All right, guys, it's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.